Monsters in America live in the retail shadows of our companies that don't pay them well enough. As a political consultant, I understand the nature of men, that everyone has to eat. When I produce this food initiative, I put together some great slides. All of that artwork has now been contrived, stolen from me by a black woman who works at a shop called Staples, I'm pretty sure, because no one wants to listen to a man is what she says. But openly, she's violated the law, she's stolen artwork, she's destroyed a drive with the help of her gay male friends in there, and openly, they're not thinking what it looks like to their friends. That when their friends listen to me, they might laugh until they realize that they have aided and abetted a rape. I'm a man that was hiding from law enforcement to some truth because of their sexual assault on my life and my body. And you have just helped them to ruin me. If you're a part of the City Trends Network, I have complimented you, but I also have not complimented you. I do that in every way, the shape, and form that I can because America as a company, America as a society must have workers who know how to serve people, who know how not to lie, who know how not to steal, who know how not to feel impoverished so much that they break our laws and everyone then loses. America in 10 years could be a completely different place. What if an alien race landed on our cities? How would we interact with people? Would we push people out the door to allow them to feed on us? Or would we stand up and fight together arm in arm for our rights to live? You see, America at war is being shown on our nickels and our quarters as they're changing. I think it's mainly our quarters are changing in imagery to show people at war. Now that should be honoring our past history and heritage of how many wars we had to fight to get to this moment of time of where we are when things are pretty right. But what's wrong in this America is the underpayment of our employees and that cost of living has somewhat, not really completely soared, but it is higher than it was. But still a homeless person like me can still eat on a dollar is true. But more like three dollars is a healthy enough meal for me. That is if you allow me a little electricity. But see, you'd rather starve me and feed your pet. You'd rather have that cup of coffee than help me in any way, I bet. And openly then you'll look at me and call me lazy because you think what I'm doing isn't a job. What a lie you've told yourself. What job you had in your life is not the job that I have for my life or the plan that I have for my life. 